Exclaves are pieces of land separated from the rest of a country or other entity. Enclaves are similar, but are pieces of land completely surrounded by another entity. Exclaves can be enclaves, and enclaves can be exclaves, even though that's not always the case. Next we come to penny exclaves. These are areas of land that are still connected to the rest of the territory, but are not connected by road or other means, leaving them practically as an exclave. This means that if you want to enter this penny exclave, or that you have to leave the country, state or county that you're in, just to enter it again somewhere else. An example is the northern half of County Leitrim, which has no roads in the county connecting it to the southern half across the River Shannon and Loch Allen. You may think that this is the largest penny exclave in the Republic of Ireland, but this is not the case. Well, maybe. Galway, in the province of Connacht, is the second largest county in Ireland at 6,149 square kilometres. It's the fifth most populous county, with 258,000 inhabitants. The county town is Galway City, which is the fourth largest city in the Republic of Ireland after Dublin, Cork and Limerick, and is home to just under 80,000 people. Alongside Vieca in Croatia, Galway is one of the two European capitals of culture for 2020. County Galway is home to one of the largest Grilltoft or Irish speaking areas in Ireland, which extends westward from Galway City to Connemara. Connemara is a cultural region with a strong association with traditional Irish culture and the Irish language, found in the part of the county west of Loch Horrog, the largest lake in the Republic of Ireland. Another Grilltoft is the Arran Islands, found in the mouth of Galway Bay, which many mistake to be in County Clare. Besides Galway City, other important towns in the county are Toome, Ballinasloe and Loch Ray, though none of these have a population of over 10,000. Finally, before we look at the borders, the traditional county of Galway has two local authorities, Galway City and Galway County. Galway City Council is one of the three left in the Republic of Ireland, though a merger of both councils is proposed, like what is seen in Limerick and Waterford. Hopefully that sums up the county for you, and will give you an understanding of the place when I talk about its borders. Dashing in the south, Galway borders County Clare, but since we already made a video about Clare's strange borders, let's move on to the Tipperary border at Loch Derg and the River Shannon. Towns and villages such as Portumna, Banagher in Offaly and Ballinasloe are found near Galway's borders, but are not divided by them. Following the Shannon between Galway and Offaly, the border width was common diverts and follows the River Suck. A tributary of the Shannon, with the confluence on the Troy Point of Galway, Offaly, and Roscommon near Shannon Bridge. The Troy Point of Galway, Roscommon, and Mayo is confusing, with small penny exclaves on each side of the Dalgan River. This is a common occurrence found on many river borders that happens when rivers change their course, but the borders remain the same. The boundary then turns south towards Loch Arug, where a penny exclave is found, being the island of Inish Mikatria. Like Alknish Island on the Clare border, the only way to enter this Galway island is through County Mayo, which is connected to Inish Mikatria via this cool looking causeway. Anyone who is living here would have to go through County Mayo if going from their home in County Galway to another part of the county. The border continues north through the lake and divides the village of Kong and this big quarry. Ashford Castle is located in County Galway, but its entrance and golf course are in County Mayo. Then there's this strange scenario when driving from Kong to Clonbur, a distance of just over 6 km. You start in Mayo, enter Galway, go back into Mayo and then Galway again when entering Clonbur. The boundary then cuts through Loch Mask and the northern shores of Loch Nufuri, across the Moim Turk Mountains and out to the sea again through Killary Harbour, one of few floyds in Ireland. There is another border within County Galway, that of Galway City. The boundary extends around the urban area, encompassing some rural lands to the north, extending out to the southern shores of Loch Horeb. As I said earlier, County Galway's borders also cut through Loch Horeb in the north, but leaving a small isthmus on which Galway City is located. Since Galway City is a separate administrative division to County Galway, this means that the western side of Loch Horeb is a penny exclave or the eastern part of the county, though the west may be more fishing due to being smaller and less populated. Perhaps Connemara should be a county of its own. Clifton, which already calls itself the capital of the region, could be the county town. Being less populous than Lifford and Donegal, it would be the smallest county town in Ireland. This phenomenon will be gone in the future, once Galway City and County Councils merge into Galway City and County Council. This is set to happen before 2021, but the current crisis may delay things. Thank you so much for watching this video, if you have any ideas for future videos, put them in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe for more on Ireland, Europe and the world.